Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing fantastic. And so today we've got another box from Tack Pack. That's right, Tack Pack. Good old Tack Pack. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. I'd really greatly appreciate you on that if you did. And now, friends, we got us a Tack Pack, a tactical pack, pack attack, sack, sack, pack, sack, rack, something or other. I don't know. This is Tack Pack, man. You ready? Let's do it. Alright, so we are back with Tack Pack. And as always, if you are interested in Tack Pack, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video where you can go and check them out if you maybe think you want to subscribe to this service. And if you do, you know, I can't I can't really offer you nothing other than to say, you know, please tell them that uh oh 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 old Brad on the journey over here on the YouTube, man, this is where he's been watching my videos. And they might hook you up with something, I don't know. They might. They might not, man. They might charge you more. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know why they do that other than to be mean to me. But All right, so anyway, with Tack Pack, this is a monthly subscription service. They got, what, three boxes to choose from. They got a light, which is light on your wallet, like I always say. Then they got the standard, and they got the plus. This is the plus box. So let's see where the card is. Where is the card? And somebody commented and told me to open the boxes from the bottom. You know, like flip them over and open them. That way I can I get to the card. Because usually the card is on the bottom. And that's a really good idea. I'm sorry, I don't remember who made that comment. But I did read it. And it is a good idea. And certainly for these tack packs, yes. But some, for the most part, most of the boxes I open, sometimes the cards are right there on the top. Sometimes they're on the bottom. Tack pack, they're always on the bottom. Because they just, you know, like to do that. For whatever reason. Alright, so we give this thing here. You can see Tack Pack Plus. We are rocking the plus box. And let's see. It says dig into Tack Pack. Into the Tack Pack full of products requested by our community. This month's pack's all about training, proficiency, and preparation. Alright, we're not gonna look at everything. We're gonna start taking stuff out this here box. And then we'll look at the card later. Alright, see what we got here. Oh man, I see a sticker too. Okay, so we got some A-Zoom precision training rounds for dry firing. Okay, very, very simple. These are dummy rounds, that, and these are 223, which will work at 556. And these are just, uh, you know, dead caps, so you can dry fire without really causing any pin damage, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, okay, there you go. And it says right here, practice loading and training, dry fire without you know, damage, exact size of real ammo, safe storage. So there you go. Very nice to to do this kind of stuff. And, you know, this is, sadly enough, this is the kind of stuff I can't really talk about on this platform. But I got a, what is that? Is it Strike? Yeah, Strike Man. It's a dry fire laser training system. Man, that thing's awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. I got one in 9 millimeter, And, you know, use your phone. I, I'd, like, I'd like to do that. But, I, you know... Oh, man. Whatever. Whatever. All right, what we got here? So, we have an AR-15 of a vice block. Okay, this is really, really cool. Okay, I love it. Okay, includes pivot lock. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is very simple. If you have a bench vice, and you're doing things that will require you to put a lot of leverage on your platform, it's, well, on this platform, because this is going to be one for uh, 556, 223, well, for an AR. How about that for an AR? This, you load it, it locks in, and then you grip the bottom part with your vise so as to not damage any magazines or your platform itself. This is very nice. Like I said, if you have a bench vise, pretty much everybody that has a workstation, they have a bench vise. So, if you don't have one of these, I would highly, highly recommend you getting one because these things really do come in handy yes because you know the 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 little oh what are they tipton no not tipton what am i saying man that company just went right out of my mind 
but you know they got the 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 bench rest you know that you can put up but the clamp on the butt of the uh platform is is you know kind of plastic it's got some metal parts but for the most part it's plastic and it doesn't give you as secure a fit as if you were to do this and you were to lock it into a bench vise so that there's that there you go what more can i say okay we got a tap rack training aid used to practice dry fire drills okay so we got a theme here going and this is from Mantis, Shooting Performance Systems. Okay, okay, okay. So these are what? Perfect for dry fire practice. Okay, so this is, okay, this is 9 millimeter or 40. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so there you go. From a company called Mantis, right? Mantis X, or is that, is that the, is that what the, yeah, Mantis Tech. Okay, and they're in Illinois. Okay. Okay. Nice. I don't. I don't have nothing like this, so that's pretty cool. I like it. Oh man. Okay. Bullets uh, pass through, not back at you. Okay. So we got a swinger that's <laughs> very, very visible. I mean, a thing almost in the camera looks neon. Whoop. That's 3D right there. That's, that's some 3D stuff right there. And you know, it does have a little hole here, so you can put like an S hook on it, and and it says bullet will pass through it. It won't. You you will not get ricochet. It will not full send back at you. How about that? And this is called a throom. That's that's funny. They pass through, not back at you. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. There you go. Very. It's made out of a very dense kind of a synthetic material. So yeah. There you go. All right. So we got that. That's cool. That'll work. Okay, we got something else from Mantis. We got a Picatinny rail. Adapter. It says adapter. It says universal. Okay. So let's see what we got here. What we got here. Okay, so we just got a little rail adapter. But what what is it? Uh, I use M-Lock. You know, I do have... Well, I take it back. Most of all my platforms, they have... They have M-Lock... But they also, on one side, will have, you know, a Picatinny on either top or the bottom. Uh, just for those things, because you do need them. I hate to say it, you do need them. So, yeah. And they give you the screw. Check that out, man. They give you, it's got 3M backing, you know, a little piece of 3M backing tape there. So, it's just a little piece of Picatinny rail. And they give you the screw that goes through there. And you screw it down. There you go. Okay. So this, but they are saying that this was this was community requested. So I guess they took all that information and okay, they give you two of them. Okay, I was about to say. Well, I hope they gave you more than one if they're going to give you that. And they did. They give you they give you another one. So we got two of them, which makes sense. Because I'm about to say, man, that one little piece, man, that that's kind of skimpy there. Okay, then we got a Mantis X2 dry fire shooting solution system. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, so this is like pretty much what I just got with, what did I call it again, the Strikeman? This is kind of the same thing. And you use an app on your phone. In the box has the Mantis X2 smart sensor, the Mantis X case, the micro USB cable, and the quick start guide. Okay, so this is interesting. Attach the sensor, collect and analyze, improve your precision. But I'm, I'm, I want to I wanna know... Man, I'm gonna have to do another video, another video on this because I don't want to, I don't want to get into all this right now. But I don't have any, you know, familiarity with this. But the way the Stripeman works, you download their app onto your your phone, you know, and, and you use the camera, and you have the target, and it has a little tripod for your phone. So like where you're going to practice at, you set the target up, and then you step back, you know, a little bit, a couple feet. I put it like no more than three, four feet from the target. Put your phone, turn your camera on through the app, it, and then you look at you look at the target. And every time you dry fire onto the target, the laser emits. The your your uh, phone picks that up through the app, and it registers the hit on the target, and it will keep score of you know where your hits are on the target, which is really 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 nice. I really like it. So you get tons of tons of practice, and you don't have to go anywhere. You know, you can set it up. You know, you can set it up wherever. 
you know, doesn't really matter. This seems to be that same kind of a system. I'm going to have to do a video on this and maybe put it on another platform because, oh uh, yeah, it seems like this, it seems like the two, the good old tube here, they're really wanting to, to get away from all that content. You know, if you don't know what's going on, you know, you can, you can look at, uh, like Hickok, you know, big channels like that, you know, and what's scary about it is even big channels like that are not immune. Like they're not safe anymore. So that's really disconcerting. So yeah. Okay, and we got a shirt with a dino snore on it that might mimic somewhat. Yes, it's this sticker right here. That's all we got. And I'm gonna tell you that the this is worth it because these dry fire systems, they're expensive. So you know, I know price of the box was what 130 somewhere around there then my dry fire system was more than that i think i know it was i know it was pricey okay so we got a shirt that has this guy on it so this is another another sticker for us here and it is called nodzilla <laughs> that's funny i love i love tack pack you know i could always go for tack pack subscription boxes if not for nothing else than the stickers so there you go Nodzilla because he has nods on his head. Love it. It's awesome. I'll have to put him up. I have to put him up here. I'm gonna have to run this up and run it over. You see, I adjusted my camera because before you guys couldn't see this line right here of the shelf because I have my Blade HQ knife attic, and then I have my 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 uh grenade for paracord my paracord grenade up here and you guys couldn't really see that so i had to do some adjusting and tweaking to the studio here because i can say that and be all fancy and say this is this is my studio all right so we'll put this in the sticker pile and we'll try to to get some some mag some mag magnetism going on and get it hung up okay so what do you guys think this is tack pack plus this is the more expensive box we don't have any we do we do not have no prices so we're on our own i want to know about these these tap rack training aids i want to see what they say about these let's see okay so this is the mantis x2 training bundle okay it says they teamed up with them to create the perfect dry fire training kit. Okay. It includes the one-of-a-kind training system to help master your marks marksmanship, improved trigger pull, grip, accuracy, and more. Used in military and civilian training alike, this system allows you to train at home and become both more efficient and proficient. Also included are the TRT safety aid, which loads into an empty pistol magazine. Perfect for uh, use during a dry fire training. Keeps the magazine follower position so that it will not engage the slide stop of the pistol. Ooh. Also included are the two Picatinny rail adapters that bond to the bottom of an existing magazine floor plate and, uh, and bonds with high energy VHB tape. So all this stuff, you know, is from Mantis. So this was meant to be you know, all, you know, like all the stuff you need, which makes me wonder, well, these things really, you don't really need them as long as you have the system, right? This stuff is just enhances it. So it's nice. It's kind of nice that they gave you all this stuff. That's cool. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's nice. We got our Nodzilla shirt, which is really cool. And we have our snap, our our dummy rounds for the uh, 223 platform and we have this this to me you know i already have a, a dry fire training uh system that i, I like so this is going to be another one i can try out and kind of compare it to that one but this is one of the best things in in there if you don't have one you guys just don't know how useful this right here is very useful and then we got a little throom guy. Woo, you will like the video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Do, 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 do. There you go. 
All right, so I think this was this was this was probably this was a good this was a good uh, a good kit, a good kit, a good pack, a good box. Yes, something. Boy, you come here for really bad videos, man, for real. All right, so that's what we got for Tac Pack Plus. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Do you think this was a good offering from Tac Pack? Do you think this was a tactical pack, a pack attack? Do you think we had a heart attack opening this pack? Were you elated to see these items? Were you disappointed? I mean, after all, it is Tac Pack, so, you know, they are going to have items like this, so, yeah. I think this was good, you know, and I'm going to tell you something. If you don't have... If you do not have a system like this, a dry firing system, do yourself a favor. Get you one. Because it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And you're training. Training, fun. You take those two things and you, you interlock them together. Perfect. Can't get no better than that. <laughs> man, this video is off the rails. Alright guys, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up for the off the rails video, man. I appreciate you on that. Let me know what you, let me know what you guys think about Tac Pack. Comment section down below. I'm out of here. See you guys in the next one. Be cool. Hope everybody's doing good. I got the love lamp doing what it's actually supposed to be doing back here. I turned it on well in advance so that it would start making the wax bubbles. So there you go. All groovy like. All right, guys. Hope. Hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're having a good uh, morning, evening, midday, you know, whatever poop. Hope you're doing well. See you in the next one, guys. Peace. Boop, boop, beep, doop, boop, boop. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. This Mantis thing, I'm going to have to try it out. I'm really interested to see how it compares to the Strikeman. I really like that Strikeman, man. That, that, that thing is cool. I have a lot of fun with that thing. For real. Especially now that I'm home and I'm not going to the hospital like every every day. You know, I'm home, able to do stuff, clean up this mess. God, dog. This mess of an office that I have. I got so much crap in here I can barely walk around. Oh, man. <sighs> now at the riffraff we're going, how are you guys doing? Yeah. So let's see, what other nuggets of information can I give you guys? So, I hope all of you are in the giveaway. I'm pretty sure all of you are. A lot That video's been... You, you guys have been giving me a lot of comments, man. I really greatly appreciate it. I like it when you blow smoke up my rear end. I love it. Those videos... You know, those comments make me smile. They really do. So you guys just don't know. They are very much appreciated. I really do. I really do appreciate them. And I don't really want to get into the comments because I want to wait and let more people comment before I really start addressing certain comments because you guys, I really do appreciate all the prayers. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to my family. It means a lot to my wife. Really greatly appreciate it. So thank all of you who did do that. Everybody that thanked me for the giveaways really do like it. We'll address one thing. Uh, Mr. Penguin451 says, Never had MREs. I wonder, uh, I wonder... I guess you meant to say if they are really healthy. Absolutely not. Food that will last, you know, it's designed to last about five years. We'll, we'll go to Steve, you know, go to Steve. He eats stuff that's like 30 years old plus. Uh, no, this stuff is not healthy. Uh, it is doused. It is doused with chemicals. It is how about this? It's formulated with chemicals. It's probably prepared with chemicals. And then it is finished off with more chemicals. So, yes. No, they're not good for you. Uh, let's see. So, let's see what else we got. That's about it. I, I'm, I'm going to go through some video. I'm going to go through comments. But I'm just I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and let more people get in there and more people comment. So, I can just kind of do a, do a big run of comments uh let's see we do have i do have a bunch of points coming up that we're going to have to discuss about the survival bag giveaway in the the regular giveaway video i did talk a lot 
about the theming. This is a survival bag. I'm making a survival bag. Okay, you can call it when you get it. If you win it, you can call it whatever you want, and you can supplement however you wish. I'm just trying to give you a good base to start from, but we're going to have a lot of points to go over. And the main the main thing is going to be things like sustenance. Are we going to try to include some type of food? Okay, and if we are going to include some type of food, what kind of food is that going to be? Because you can see some of these MREs, they're big, take up a lot of space. We could do the lifeboat rations, you know, because, you know, at the end of the day, in, in emergency, hey, I don't want to starve to death, you can have some of the lifeboat rations. So, uh, you know, I've been thinking a lot about every aspect of this bag. And when I, I'm, I'm going to probably do that video tomorrow. So it'll be going up in a day or two, but we, we got a lot to talk about with this bag because I have a ton of, well, not a ton, but I do have a lot of gear assembled that I'm going to lay out. We're going to talk, I'm going to talk about it, get you guys feedback, see where you at on it, all that kind of good stuff. But other than that, uh, we've got Hunt Vault, Battle Box, Barrel and Blade, something for the survival bag. Uh, what is that? Bespoke post, and I bought me some Legos. I'm a big kid. I like Legos. And I found a Lego set that I could not turn away from. And I'm going to do a video on it, which you guys probably don't care nothing about my Lego buying habits. But at the end of the day, this is my journey. You guys are watching it. You get what you get, and you don't pitch a fit. I hope all of you guys are doing well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.